Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video for those that need a complete office suit, something comparable to Microsoft Office, but for free. Now, one of the things that um, is, you know, a, a, a problem that I see regularly as a tech guy is uh, people you know, saying, hey, I don't have a, uh, you know, a, a suitable word processor or, you know, a spreadsheet. And of course, one of the ideas behind it first is, okay, I'm going to get, um, you know, Microsoft Office. Thing is, Microsoft Office for the home user, um, I, I kind of often find that it's a little expensive for what it is. And, you know, 90% of home users that I've seen don't even need that. So, if you need a word processor or a spreadsheet or if you receive PowerPoint presentations from you know from friends and you say well you know uh, I, I want to wait to view them and everything uh, there are a few ways to do that free of charge one of them is LibreOffice LibreOffice is something that's been around for a little while and I will explain why I prefer LibreOffice over OpenOffice which was a very popular Office suit for a while. The problem with OpenOffice is that the uh, development of OpenOffice is pretty much stalled, and most of the developers actually that used to um, work on OpenOffice now basically just work on LibreOffice. So it left OpenOffice with a kind of an archaic and old interface. Uh, also, there are some security holes that are in OpenOffice that are not fixed because there's no upgrades really going on much. So um, I thought that you know the best. I think that right now the best free choice is LibreOffice that is updated regularly and has patches all the time. So why not check it out? It's at version 5.3.3 by the way, and uh, it is available if you click the download now button when you get there. It's available for Linux in 64-bit versions and 32-bit versions. It's available for Mac OS. If you have a Mac user, why not check it out? And it is available for 32 and 64-bit versions for Windows. So great little suit of um, you know Office uh, productivity programs. What do you get? Once it's installed, basically, you get this when you actually start it up. This is the OpenOffice welcome screen, LibreOffice, sorry, welcome screen. So you got write documents. So if you look at uh, LibreOffice Writer, it's really, you know, a full-blown office suit and, and it works really well in opening even, um, you know, Microsoft Office documents. It has some form of compatibility with that. Um, also, what do you get in the Microsoft Office suit is, sorry, I just clicked on the wrong thing here. Um, you have the spreadsheet available right here. So this is the spreadsheet. Looks pretty much like, you know, um, Excel from Microsoft. Also compatible with most of Excel documents. And so you can actually use it. You can even do something here and, you know, send it to a um, an office user and it should usually open. You also have Impress presentation which is PowerPoint version of this software by um, you know um, LibreOffice. You see here you know you had slides works pretty much in the same way um, as uh, the, um, the, the, the PowerPoint presentation um, you know PowerPoint for office basically so that's pretty cool also um, you've got also in here if you wish a um, draw for drawing so you can actually have and do some uh, kind of paint design if you want it's a little bit like a halfway between paint in uh, you know uh, functionalities and photoshop it's not as big as photoshop but more than just paint app for Windows. Um, you also have the math formula. So this one is a uh, math program and uh, formula, um, you know, kind of scientific um, app if you want. 
And finally, in LibreOffice, you've got base database. This is the uh, equivalent of access for uh, Office, and it's a, a, a database creator, basically. So if you have, for example, a, a collection of tapes and you want to do a database of everything that you have, well, you can actually do it with this. It will actually work. And it opens, of course, the access files. If you have old access a database, for example, most of them are compatible. Once again, it's not 100%, so you know this might not be the thing for uh, people that are constantly exchanging with um, you know, the outside world with Microsoft Office uh, type documents. But for most home users that rarely interact with other users with Office and that just need something that will do all of these things without the huge price of Microsoft Office, well, LibreOffice is actually the way to go. So I'll be, uh, of course, posting the link to this uh, suit, which is LibreOffice.org. And so it's going to be in the description below the video. You can install this and uh, try it out free of charge. And of course, if you like it, they have a donate button. You can give a little something, say, hey, your software is good. Uh, helps, you know, maintain the website, maintain the updates. And um, it's, you know, for a, a great cause of a nice free bundle of software. So uh, check it out at libreoffice.org. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.